Hi everyone, this is Maths World UK. I'm James Grime and today I'm speaking with Katie Chico. Katie is a mathematician and a senior lecturer at the Open University and she's also, more importantly for us, the CEO of Maths World UK. And today Katie's brought in a series of puzzles for you to try. Some of them are classic puzzles, some of them I expect you haven't seen before, but they've all been wrapped up conveniently in one nice free app for you to download. The app is called Perplex. You get it from the usual places, but we'll put the links in the description. You can also get it on your browser. So Katie's going to give us a little tour through the Perplex app. I should mention that our Zoom link was a little bit glitchy, so I hope you'll be okay, but you know, if that happens, you'll know why. But while Katie was here, I thought I should ask her about Maths World UK, which is about creating a Maths Discovery Centre. So I asked Katie, what's a Maths Discovery Centre going to be like? It's definitely play, it's exploration, and it's some wow. And it's something for everybody as well. So, you know, you can go into this at a kind of... Uh, so at the minute, we've got a touring exhibition, which you're involved in as well. And with this touring exhibition, we've very deliberately made something for the whole age range. So there's a bubble exploration where you can just go in it and think, hey, bubbles. But otherwise, you can go into the bubbles and think, oh, my goodness, uh, look at that architectural structure. And why does it form that? And why is it always meeting at that angle? So you can come into it at a lot of levels and ask yourself a lot of questions. Uh, we are trying to kind of woo people into maths. You know, we're, we're trying to get people to start to love it. So if you already love it, great. You're going to love it. But if you don't, we've deliberately set out to try and find things that would like capture your interest and get, and get you hooked. So it is for everybody. It is a first step in or, you know, you can delve a bit further as well. And I think you've brought in something today that people can try out at home. And I'm sure people of all ages can try this at home, but also they can sort of delve into it and look behind the maths as well. Yeah, exactly. So one thing I've tried in the past was we made an app, a brain tease app called Perplex, and that's available on the App Store. It's available on Google Play, but you can also get it through your browser. So I can share my screen and show you that now. So let's have a dive in and I'll show you some of them and perhaps you can kind of play them while you direct me what to press. So we start the puzzle and the aim is to connect the network. So I'm just going to go through a couple of these. I'm not going to show the solution. You can come and have a go. So you just click on the square to start joining the network up. Okay. And when, if you want to give in, or if you want to move on to another puzzle, then you would come up to these three dots. Uh, but just before we do that, there is a question mark, a help button at the top right. And here you can find out how to play the game. But also, you can find some kind of mathematical background to each of the games. So you can learn a little bit more of what maths is going on in the background, if that's what you're interested in. A lot of people just get in and do the puzzles. So this is the network game. We're going to jump out of that one. I think you can see how you would do it. Okay, so let's try the next one. Next one, very visual as well. And actually, this is something that Katie Steckles talked about in one of the earlier videos, the four color map theorem. So you can color this with four colors. And, um, you know, I'm quite sure everyone could have a go of this. I would have loved to set you a massively intricate, real scribbly four color challenge, but you've got to bear in mind, people are doing it on something that's about, you know, the size of your hand. So we can't have the areas being too small. So this is a taster of the four color theorem to have a go at. Uh, let's jump out of that one. Right. Um, oh, now this is a bit of a numbery one. Now I don't normally do much with numbers because people have enough of an idea that maths is to do with numbers. And really we want to get them to start thinking about maths as spaces and shapes and uh, some kind of like logical thinking. But let's have a look at this anyway, because it's a bit countdown in. I think it's a bit fun. Mm -hmm. Right. And your aim here is to join all the bubbles together to make the total 100. So it's not just the case that you can make 100, because we all know we can make 100 if we did, uh, you know, 10 times 10. Your job is to get all the bubbles together. And the, having done that, the total being 100. So that's one to fiddle around with. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to have a go at it now, Jim? I'm going to see if I can or... finish it. You've got, you've got right, 100. I'm going to take you back to the start. You're going so to take me not, to the start. Okay. I'm not prejudiced you. Do you, do you want to have a, tell me what to I join will. together? Okay. Well, I'm just going to start wildly yeah, just play joining around things. It, fine. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, let's do um, two plus eight. Mm -hmm. Let's do oh, um, six plus seven. Okay. 
plus four. So thirteen plus four, yeah. 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 Plus three. Okay. Um. Times by five. Ooh, twenty times five. Yeah. Oh, I see. This is looking nice. Took me a while to see where you're going One there. One plus nine is ten. Divide oh, by ten. Good. Yeah. Uh, divided by 10, are you sure? Yeah, 10 divided by 10 to give me 1. I'm going to do oh, 100 divided do. by 1. I was going with something else in my mind. Right, excellent. Or divided by, yeah, times by 1. Yeah, that would do. Hey, I did it. <laughs> that was a fluke, but I did it. I don't know. It was pretty swift, if you ask me. Excellent. <laughs> That's pressure. <laughs> Marvellous. There are so many solutions to that. So. Yeah. Definitely, anyone watching this, go away and just fiddle around with it. Find yourself another one. I know when I've set this challenge to other people, I've had at least eight different solutions. So just uh, go for it. it and we've got some classic puzzles on here. So this is a bit of a logic -y one. So in here, you've got to take the torch across the bridge. And each of these people has to cross the bridge. Now, the point is that they can only cross the bridge when they've got the torch. Uh, OK, cross the bridge. Now, if these two guys want to cross over here, they're going to need the torch. So someone's going to need to come back. Yeah. So they have to bring the torch back with them. And your job is to try and do this in the minimum amount of time possible. You'll see each of the little people has a time on their head. OK. Um, so I have not showed you the fastest possible way of doing it. Can you work out? And I'm not going to ask you to do it now, Jim, uh, James, but just to say, can you do it in the fastest possible way? OK. Uh, so that's a as challenge. a challenge. Yes, challenge for the watcher. Right, I think we will do this one together if that's okay. All right. Uh, this one is the straightforward logic puzzle. Logic's a bit of a love of mine. Just that, you know, get cutting right down to the bare bones of what you know and what you can deduce. So a bit of a, uh, a nice puzzle from the UK Maths Trust, this. So are you ready? We're going to hear four mm. sentences and we've got to work out how many of them are true. So number one. You eat more than I do, Tweedledum. Tweedledee, that is not true. Alice says, Tweedledum and Tweedledee are both wrong. And then finally, the rabbit says, Alice, you are right. Okay, and the question is, this is going to be to you, James, or perhaps we should just, I don't want to leave it as totally answered. Um, so don't tell me your answer, but do you think from there, you could work out how many of those statements were true? I think the last three statements were comments about the previous statements, but the first mm -hmm. statement was different. The first statement either is true or false. So that's where I think I would start. Okay, sounds good. Let's leave it there so that the uh, <laughs> any viewers don't get, uh, don't get it spoiled. Riv raft crossing is very similar to the torch crossing but slightly different format. And here we've got a bit of a Sudoku one. So uh, in your job here is to put all these tents on the grid, quite like Sudoku, but you're only allowed to put uh, the number of tents that are indicated, say, for this column and are indicated for the row. So I've got to have two tents in this column and two tents in this row. But every tent needs to be next to a fire and no two tents can go next to each other. So that wouldn't be allowed, and nor would it be allowed to go in any of these boxes. So a bit, bit of a pseudo we one there. And I think, um, yes, let's leave that for the uh, viewers to have a little think about. I'll have a play around with. OK, so I thought we might spend a little bit of time on this one, which is called the Knight's Tour. Is that OK? It's a classic puzzle. On a chessboard, the knight moves in a particular way. And actually, I find that people grasp the maths quite quickly. And then I often forget people haven't played chess. Bit of a, you know, that's that's my fault. So a, a knight on a chessboard can move in a rectangle three by two. He goes from one corner to the other corner. So from here, this knight could move to here or here. It's got a choice of these two spaces because there's your one three by two rectangle and there's your other three by two rectangle. And the job here is for the knight to skip around the chessboard, moving in the way that he can, and to land on each of the pieces, each of the squares, 
exactly once. So he's not allowed to go anywhere twice and he has to hit every single square. So the first thing I would say to people watching is, if the chessboard was four by four, he wouldn't be able to get around the board touching everywhere just once. And if the chessboard was five by five, I would like to ask you, could it be done? Um, if not, why not? But I can tell you that it can certainly be done on a six by six. So this can be done, but it is really hard. It's the sort of thing you can try again and again and again and again. So it's deliberately there as the last puzzle. So that, you know, if you've kind of raced through everything else and you're thinking, oh, well, sorted all that, this is going to keep you going for ages. Um, there's one last thing I wanted to say about Perplex. And that is if you are at the, oh, well, when you're within the menu, you've got all these the eight major puzzles, but we've also added a daily challenge. So I think there's up to 60. And so every day there'll be a new smaller challenge on there. So plenty to keep you busy and plenty to keep uh, any pesky homeschool avoiding kids busy during lockdown. You get them on the screens and get them playing with this and you can at least feel they're doing some virtuous maths at the same time. Is there anything else that we could recommend that people check out? Yeah, it's our first big part of the project was to make this touring exhibition. So we shall go to science discovery centres and museums all around the country. So hopefully we'll come somewhere near you and you can check it out and find out if we have managed to woo you into maths or maybe showed you a different face of maths and if we've uh, fulfilled our objective there. And another thing that's on our website is to accompany the touring exhibition, we do have a number of web pages which describe some of the interactivities. And on those pages, we've actually got some maths at home activities you can do as well. So there's quite a lot of wraparound resource on our website. So take a look at the website, check out the touring exhibition link, and also look at our general mission as well. And I thank you very much for bringing those in. And I do recommend people checking out the Maths World UK website as well and having a look at those maths at home activities. They're particularly well written, I thought. <laughs> I agree. I wonder what wonderful person wrote them. <laughs> True. Hi, I'm back. I just wanted to remind you that the links for Perplex are all in the description. And to give credit, the Perplex app was made by the Open University and the UK Maths Trust. I'll also put links to Maths World UK in the description, as well as to the touring exhibition, which includes descriptions of the exhibits, uh, some maths behind the exhibits, and some ideas you can try out at home. So that's all from me for now. I'll say stay curious, and I'll see you next time.